Welcome back. So if you followed me on my FFmpeg series, you'll know that I've been manually changing the video input source in the scripts to correspond to however it was mapped at any given time. And that's not very useful because you can make mistakes. I've accidentally viewed the wrong webcam and doing that. And during a live stream, that's not something you want to do. You want something consistent. So if we take a look in the slash dev directory, you'll see that we have the video zero, video one, video two, and video three on this machine. So which one is which? But if you look down here, I have this webcam main. Let's take a closer look at that. And we can see here that's mapped to video zero. Hmm, that's interesting. We'll take a look at that. So let's go ahead and disconnect that webcam and run ls again and as you can see video one and video two are gone and so is the webcam now what if i want to plug in the rca device i'm going to plug that in and let's run ls again and video one and video zero are back but no webcam and so is the webcam and the rca device the same one no it's not so how can we tell which device this is? One way is to run VLC and see what that device is. And let's do that. And the even number ones are the standard video for Linux. The odd number ones have different metadata. So we're just going to be focusing on the even number one. So it's that video zero that just popped up when we plugged in the RCA device. And that is my RCA device. Okay, great. So we confirmed that. So let's take another look at that. So let's, so we're going to run this program udev admin adm with the option info, the flag dash a, and we're going to run it on slash dev slash video zero. And let's take a look. So we can see here it's a, that's, it's in the kernel as video zero. It's a, the subsystem is video for Linux no driver listed, its index is zero, and its name is AV2 USB 2.0, which granted is not a very descriptive name, but at least we know that, that this device is named that, and that's gonna be important for the next thing we're gonna do is because we're gonna map this using UDEV. To do that, we go to the slash etc or etc directory, udev slash rules.d, and we'll see that there is this 99 mycams rules file. So let's go ahead and edit that. And you can see I have my two webcams and my microscope already listed. And what it needs is it needs to know the subsystem, the index, the name, and where you want to map it to. So we're going to add a new device. Let's comment it so we know what device we're doing there. And let's cut and paste this. So it's a video for Linux, it's zero, and I'm gonna take this name out and copy and paste that other name. And this we're just gonna call RCA. And the name we wanna copy is this AV2 Linux 2.0, and that gets pasted right here. We save this file and we run this command, sudo udev control reload rules and an sudo udev trigger. We hit OK. Let that run. And let's take a look at the slash dev directory. Now we have this RCA device. Let's take a closer look at that. And we can see that it's mapped to video zero. But you may recall that webcam was mapped to video zero. Does this mean we're going to have a conflict? No, but I'll plug in that video that webcam again and we'll take a look. So the webcam's plugged in, hit LS, and now you can see that we have video four and video five. Let's take a look at, and we have the webcam. So let's take a look at the webcam. Let's take a look at it with the dash L so we can actually see some information. And this is mapped to video four and the RCA is mapped to video zero. So now I don't need to worry about changing anything. Next, we'll need to go through and change that script for the RCA so it points to the correct device. So if we go in and 
edit that RCA device, we'll go over here and you'll see that I already did this. And why did I already do this? Be, you could say because I, I anticipated what I was going to name it. In all reality, I recorded this video already, but forgot something and had to redo it. Now, the other issue is the audio. And we could do something similar with the audio, but that will be a, another video. But if you want to use the UDEV admin, you could still use the info-a and you can take a look at the audio devices. We'll take a look at audio two and audio two over here where it looks at the ID is the K38. So that's my microphone that I generally use. But if you look here, there is no, there is no name or anything like that. So it would be slightly different, but we can work on that at a different time. And you can see that it's in the kernel as card two and audio two. And audio one just has this standard MS2, whatever that means. Audio three is the webcam. And I don't believe there's an audio four and no audio four. The webcam is obvious. I don't like using the audio on the webcam because in most cases it's right in front of my face and it's a little loud and a little hard to get the audio correct. So that was uh, basically it for setting up UDEP for video for Linux devices. If you want to take a look at that FFmpeg series that I had mentioned, you can go ahead and subscribe and check that out. But otherwise, thank you for watching this video and you have a great day.